What's up guys, Justin here with TheRenderingEssentials.com back with another SketchUp and Inkscape tutorial for you. So in this video we're going to check out the new asset library and some things that you can quickly change in your renderings in Inkscape to make things look more realistic. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. Alright, so just recently Inkscape came out with a new version, version 2.4. And version 2.4 has a lot of cool features in it, including materials like the grass material, which can also be used not only to create grass, but also things like rugs and other things like that, as well as a new asset library. And so that's kind of what I wanted to focus on in this video, was making things look more realistic using the asset library. And so to start off, this is a... Um, this is a model that I've downloaded from the 3D Warehouse. It's the Mason Contemporane by SZ Kristoff. It's also the, the example model I used in the grass tutorial. So just as a little more information, I've also turned on the Horizon presets um, from Inkscape. So you can see how this is an HDR image that shows up in the background. So I've turned that on. And I may have adjusted my field of view, I don't remember. The other thing I did is I went in and I added some materials. And these are materials from polygon.com. Um, but they're just higher resolution materials, so in particular this wall as well as the flooring on this floor. So just kind of some background as to how I got to this point. Well what I wanted to do in this case is I wanted to check out some of the options for the um, in the new asset library from Inkscape. And so you can find the asset library in the Inkscape toolbar by going down to the button for asset library. And what that's going to do is that's going to pop up their library of objects that you can add into SketchUp. And so you add these into SketchUp and then they show up in your rendering. And the nice thing about these is they're kind of optimized for rendering with Inkscape. So they look better than like the default SketchUp objects. So like for example, if you look at this couch, it's it's kind Kind of holding the quality of this image back because it's kind of low poly and it just doesn't look very good. So what we're going to do in this case is we're going to start off and we're actually going to delete out this couch. And I want to highlight one of the things that's really cool about Inkscape is as soon as I made that change um, in my actual rendering or in my SketchUp model, the rendering changed as well. So it's truly real time, which I really like. And um, I will note that this asset library is a fairly small at this point. Um, they are planning on adding to it, but we're going to go ahead and we're going to add some objects into this model. So in this case, I'm going to start off and I'm going to click on this Minoti sofa. I'm just going to click on that. You can see all I have to do is click and drop that in my model. And you'll notice that this automatically updates with that inside my model. And so then I can take it and I can kind of move it around. I can place it. So like, let's say for example, in this case, I'm going to rotate this 180 degrees and I'm going to move it over. It's a little big for this space, but we're going to go ahead and roll with it for right now. So I'm going to go ahead and move that over here. And there we go. So now we have this much more realistic looking couch in this model with just a couple clicks. And then we could also come in here and delete out a couple other objects in here. Like let's say for example that we wanted to add we're going to go with this large ottoman. So I'm just going to click on this large ottoman. I'm going to bring it in and I'm going to rotate it in place using the move tool. And then we'll just move it over here and over here kind of centered in front of our couch. So you can see how the leather on this and everything else looks a lot more realistic than what we had in there before. And then we'll do one more. We'll add um, the furniture is probably not all going to match at this point in this model, but we'll go ahead and we'll add this casino sofa. And so we'll just drop this in and we'll put that in place as well. And one thing I want to highlight as I do this is if you look at these, and I am not a big fan of that style of chair, but that's okay. Um, so if you look at these, these are actually getting brought in. You can see how they're white. And the reason that they're white is because these are actually proxy models. So what that means is if you like zoom in on these, you can see how they have some higher resolution textures and uh, they have more angles. Um, and faces that make up the geometry in here, well that can slow down SketchUp. And so what Inkscape has done is it's actually taken these pieces and it's brought them in as proxies, meaning it comes in as like a low polygon, low texture model here, but then in the actual rendering it shows up much higher quality. And so you can see how just adding those two pieces by itself made this scene a lot more realistic. 
All right, and so then the other thing I'm going to do is I'm also going to go out and I'm going to swap some of these plants. And again, this is more demonstrating just how the uh, asset how the asset library works and also how to swap things out. So we could swap a bunch of the other models out as well, like these bookcases and everything else. But for right now, I'm just gonna go in and I'm just gonna replace a few of the plants. And so if you watch out the window when I do this, you'll be able to see it update. So when I delete that out, I can bring in a plant. So let's say for example that I wanted to bring in like a ficus tree or something like that. So I can click right here and I can bring that tree in and I can actually bring in a few different versions of that tree if I want to and you can see how those are updating inside my view right here so those come in really quickly and the nice thing about these again is they are the low polygon proxy models so they're not actually slowing down my SketchUp model at all and then if I wanted to I could also bring in like let's say we brought in one of the people models so let's say we brought in Oh, this dude looks like he means business, so we'll go ahead and bring him in. So we can bring this model in, and then if you watch, he's actually going to show up outside the window right here. So we'll go ahead and we'll rotate him, probably move him around just a little bit. Maybe move him forward so he's not hidden behind a mullion. Have him stand right there. So you can see how using this asset library to swap things in and out can make your uh, renderings a lot more realistic without a whole lot of eff extra effort from you. And that's one thing I want to talk about probably in a future video is one of the things that can really make your models and your renderings look more realistic is um, things like your entourage, like your uh, furniture and everything else. And really fleshing out that space, that can make a huge difference. So I'll talk about that in a future video. So that's where I'm going to end this video. Leave a comment below and let me know what you thought. Do you like Inkscape? Do you like the asset library idea? I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new rendering content every week. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.